Yeah, we're not so good on something new. Welcome back to another episode of Down the Road. You know, every week we try to go somewhere new, experience a different aspect of Jamaica. It's mostly tourist experience, but why we as locals can't do it too? So this week we took a drive out to a place in St. Thomas called Roselle. It's located off a of coast road. It's a place called the Long Border Bar and Grill. So essentially what it is, it's a restaurant, bar and grill, but the twist is they do surfing. So it's one of the nicer spots in St. Thomas that people go, they do surfing. So you can rent your surfboards, you can do surfing lessons. Really and truly it's just a sick place to chill out and party with your friends and zine. So I hope by the end of the episode you learn a little bit. You can come through, check out the long border. Just take a drive out with your friends. Experience Jamaica. Experience the new Jamaica. Enoch's to the run. Yeah, 
Heineken and a couple bottles of rum. Uh -huh. I was selling it behind the bar myself, like I was the bartender. And everybody was like, yo, we need some food. So somebody was coming back, a couple of drinks, and they're like, you don't have no food. I'm like, no. It's like after a couple of weeks, I'm like, I need to get some food, which means I need to hire someone. Yeah. Because anyway. you didn't have the whole set up yet? No, well, it no. Wasn't, we didn't even set up for a kitchen. Far less think about food or chef and <laughs> managing. Like, I don't have experience in that. You don't want to sell some beer to your friend I mean, there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Um, so one day, like, my, my gardener, Errol, who, is, who I've known since I've been like seven years old, because he used to work with my dad. I used to be like, take care of my dad's yard in freaking in Whitcomb. Um, so, like, you know, I had some chef that I hired, it was a complete disaster. So I told, told the chef to leave. I was like, yo, Errol, I'm suffering, but I know you could cook a good stew chicken, and I know you, so if you can cook this food, just help me out. He went to the kitchen, everybody was raving about the food that day. Yes, basically, um, I moved out here and wanted to get away from Kingston City Life. Mm. I was living in Kingston for about 15 years and while Came I was... for school and finished and then... No, no, I'm, I'm Jamaican but I left when I was younger and went all over and came back they when came I finished back. school. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm actually about 43. You don't so, look it at all. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I came back to Kingston. I actually had a scrap metal yard in Kingston mm -hmm. for about 15 years on Orange Street. Wow. Yeah, so after a while I was tired of that and decided to move out here and I was surfing this spot a lot with, some, with my friend Adam Miller. Mm -hmm. And we decided to open up a bar here. So we set about setting up this bar and it kind of just grew into whatever it is and now. this was a year ago? This was like two and a half years ago. And now it's kind of evolved to where we're going to have this little surf hotel here now. We're going to partner with Ad another Adam Ironically uh, from Santa Cruz. Yeah. And, uh, which is this dude here. And so, you know, we're putting in this and we're going to market it to surfers in California and the East Coast. And basically, what we're trying to create is like a little community, like an eco, um, you eco know, tourism. Easy eco tourism community mm -hmm. that caters to surfers, surfers and backpackers. That's the niche, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, you know, we're we're trying to we're trying to get as much people involved, that like-minded people. You know, what I mean, yeah, like, definitely. You know, we would we would love to see it grow to like you know like a little community of musicians and surfers and skateboarders and artists and stuff. You know, that's like the. Big world. But it's mostly tourists you find? No, it's mostly people from Kingston. Oh, yeah. You're right. Mostly like Kingston people come on the weekends, you know? Yeah. Like during the week, you get like one every week. More and more tourists are coming through, but the majority of the business is like Kingston and Kingston. And it's for the food and bar, or people actually doing the surfing and stuff? Food and bar, no, the surfing, um, um, every once in a while, like some of the youth programs will come and do lessons and stuff like that. And um, there's a guy here, uh, Ronley, and he does a surf instruction, surf lessons. Oh, surfing in Jamaica. First is Lighthouse in Coco Cabana, and then you have, um, right there, um, Billy's has a little wave, and then you have Wiki Waki has a wave, and then you have um, a couple little waves in between, but then this is like the next big spot. And then right down the road you have um, not even like two miles on the end of um, like district down here they call it Blackwood, mm -hmm. call it Berlin, and right across from the Goodyear Tire Factory. Yeah. Yeah, there's another spot back there, super nice. And then from here straight to um, Boston Beer, you have a couple more. And then Boston Beer going on here, Pini Wally. Other than this side, surfing is really big. Portland? Portland and St. Thomas, St. Kingston, that's it. Like, um, OT. Not even, not even Negril are in those no. places? Like Montego Bay, no. Right. Yeah. It's calm. That's why they went in. That's why they made all the big hotels there and stuff because the tourists could get to like relax in the water. You know, yeah. like here it's rough. You know. Exactly, because the stones and all that. Yeah. Are just but like, the, white like as surfers now, this they want to see. You know? The yeah, bigger, exactly. you know, the bigger sea, the better. You know? I think it's really good here. It gets really good. Yo. Jamaica has good waves, man. 